Hi, I'm Justin Taylor with Novell. Today what we're going to talk about in Chalk Talk is how to explain single sign-on to your customer without having to worry about where the latest PowerPoint presentation is on Enterprise Single Sign-On. So as you watch this particular video today, make sure that you're looking for the key aspects of what we want to accomplish with our customer. One is to understand who they are and what they need, not necessarily what we think we should tell them. And so we'll demonstrate today on the whiteboard how to make that happen. So let's go to the whiteboard. So the very first thing we're going to be doing is figuring out what exactly does the customer mean by single sign-on. Because again, different people have a different outlook on that. So for example, are they looking for SSO, true single sign-on, or are they looking for RSO, reduced single sign-on? They are different things. And maybe just putting this up on the board will be a good way to introduce to your customer or to get that piece of information out of them. What do they want? Single sign-on, for example, is referring to a user with a single ID, one ID, that they're going to use to authenticate to multiple versions of themselves. Now, each one of these different accounts here is going to have different IDs and passwords. So in this particular case, this is true single sign-on. One account, one login, and boom, I get access to everything that the customer is looking for. The other type is the reduced single sign-on. Now, reduced single sign-on is a little bit different. Reduced single sign-on is going to deal with, I'm going to have one user account, and it's going to have its particular ID. We'll just say it's A. And it's going to have the same ID in all these other locations. So whether they're email applications, whether they are web applications, whatever they might be, all of the different user information is the same. Same credential for all these different sites. So why is that called reduced? Well, because you're not just logging in once, but now you have a single set of credentials that you can use to get access to that information. Again, simplifying things. Sometimes this is referred to as simplified sign-on versus single. Again, get to know your customer. What is it that they are looking for versus what we may think they need? But in any case, Novell has the technology and the solution to deal with their problems. Let's first talk about enterprise single sign-on and what exactly that means. So if I were to ask you what is Novell's enterprise single sign-on solution, what would your answer be? Well, a lot of different people are going to have different answers to that. But in particular, for this particular video and this particular Chalk Talk, we're going to talk about secure login. And secure login is going to fit, again, into that SSO. And we put the E on the front for the enterprise. And what we mean by the enterprise aspect of it is that we can control it from an enterprise level. All participants within an organization or an enterprise can be part of the system, but the system itself or the enterprise itself can manage those policies. So they can put down what they determine is the right policy for a particular system, for example. But it also means that it's going to encompass many different aspects of the single sign-on solution. So I need to have the ability for a user to sit down at their desktop or any other type of device. They should be able to sit down, log into that environment, and then be able to, through a single sign-on account or through some kind of reduced sign-on, be able to get access to all of the other systems. And again, these other systems may be email applications, they may be databases, they may be mainframe applications running through a terminal emulator. They may be all sorts of different things. But we want to be able to offer them the solution that they need for their particular needs. Typically, that enterprise secure, enterprise single sign-on solution is going to be secure login. Now, to understand how secure login works and to be able to explain that to your customer, here's a quick way that you might use, again, might, depending on the situation, be able to demonstrate to them how to make this work or how it would work, is that we're going to go ahead and we're going to load a small little piece of software onto this machine, the secure login client. Now, that particular piece of client or that client code is going to intercept as a user is logging into these various accounts. So it basically learns and evolves about who this individual is, who they are throughout all the different environments. So that all these different systems here, regardless of what their username or their password is, it's going to capture them. But do more than just that. It's going to not only capture them, but it's also going to store them on the enterprise servers. 
So back here where I have Mr. Admin, Admin is going to set those enterprise policies about what can be stored, how they're supposed to store the information, um, how long it's going to be there, all sorts of different policies and procedures can be stored within that system. So he writes, he or she writes those policies within the server. All the information from that user is securely stored again at this location. So that if this user goes, let's say, to another machine, let's say they're going to be using their laptop today versus their desktop, that information is now still accessible to them. So the user doesn't have to worry about, well, my secrets are all on this other machine. Instead, that information will follow them from point A to point B. And it will do it not only in this format, but it will do it for web applications. It will do it for client applications. It'll even do it for terminal emulation. So if somebody's logging into a mainframe app through a 3270 emulator, we don't care. It doesn't really matter to us. We can intercept those credentials. We can get it from the client. If they have Outlook, if they've got SAP clients, if they have any type of thick client application, we can intercept that. And we can do it for web-based credentials as well. And again, because of the nature of the way this thing is architected, even this administrator cannot see those particular secrets. Again, providing a level of trust that is so important in today's environments. So this has been a quick introduction of how you could use the whiteboard without PowerPoint to demonstrate single sign-on. Again, this is Justin Taylor with Novell, thanking you again and wishing you happy selling.